Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about IDEs for robot framework and we will see what is the IDE we can use to create tests on robot framework. So IDE is integrated development environment. So I'll just write it down for the notes for you. So IDE is integrated development environment and it is basically a platform that we can use to create our project or to create our automation framework and it provides all the features and all the resources that we can use to create our project so we need an IDE to create our tests or framework for robot project and there are multiple options available so we have options like ride which is a robot frameworks official IDE and I have a complete playlist on using ride for robot framework and I will also provide the links in the description also if you want you can go to my website automationstepbystep.com and here you will find a link for online courses so if you go here you will see this online courses here and if you go here you will find options and links for these courses so here you can see we have robot framework and this course is developed using ride uh, here I have used Ride. So Ride is a very useful and very easy editor for robot framework. However, there are some issues with Ride. So as of now, as of the time of recording this video, a uh, Ride is not very much compatible with Python 3 and you will have to use Python 2 in case you want to use Ride. Also, I have found some issues in getting Ride on Mac OS. So I have got a lot of requests on uh, to create a robot framework series again using a different editor. So other editors we have is like PyCharm is there. We have TextMate and then we can also use Eclipse and we can use some plugins over Eclipse to create our robot framework test cases. So in this series I am going to use Eclipse and the first thing is we will see how to install and set up Eclipse so here the first thing you have to do is step number one is we have to download Eclipse so go to your browser go to Google and just search for download Eclipse and it will take you to this official website of Eclipse which is eclipse.org and go to the downloads page from here I'll also provide all these links in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so this is the link that we have to go to and here it will show you this option to download you can just click on download and it will show you this option click on download and it will start downloading so you can see it is downloading here also if you are on Mac you will do the same thing just go to download Eclipse so you can follow this on Windows as well as on Mac and this is download Eclipse it will again take you to the same website and it will give you the option to download so you can just download it from here and then install it so for Windows it is downloaded and I can go to my folder so I'll just go to the folder and run the installer so it will start the installer for Eclipse so step number two is install Eclipse so this is the Eclipse installer coming up and you can see we have these options I will select Eclipse IDE for Java developers and here I can select the folder so I do not want this I want to uh, go take this installation to a separate folder so I will just go to my folder I'll go to my tools and here I will create a new folder and I will name this as Eclipse 2019 and this is where I want the installation to go so I'll copy this and paste it here and I'll say install so this will start the installation process and let us just wait for this installation to get completed and you will get this uh, message to do you trust the certificates I'll say accept and complete the installation and this is done and now you can just say launch and you can see it has also created a desktop shortcut 
and it is now starting so this is the latest version as of now you can take whatever is the latest version at your time now we need a workspace so workspace is a folder where all your project data will go so you can select any folder I am going to select again a custom folder I will go to my workspaces folder and I will create a new folder and I will name this as Eclipse 2019 and this is where I want my workspace to be I will copy this and provide it here and say launch so this will now start our Eclipse so Eclipse is now starting now in case you already have Eclipse you can get your Eclipse now and here we have some links like tutorial samples overview this will be helpful if you just want to go through them otherwise you can click on workbench so just click on this workbench button here it will take you to the workbench of Eclipse and this is our Eclipse so you can see we have a menu bar which has file, edit, resource, source, refactor, navigate, search, project, run, window, help and then we have a tools bar that has some common operations like creating a new element from here and then a debug button, a run button and search and so on and then we have a project explorer or a package explorer here you will see your project in a tree view and then you have the editor here there are some other windows which we do not need I'll just close them and yes so here we have our Eclipse ready so now we have our Eclipse uh, now we need to get a plugin on Eclipse to create our robot framework test cases and we have a plugin called red robot editor and this is a Eclipse extension or you can say Eclipse plugin so this is what we are going to use to create our robot framework test cases so if you go to Google and search for robot search for red robot editor for Eclipse so I should say this is a Eclipse editor or plugin is also fine here if you search for red robot editor for Eclipse you will get this website which is Nokia hyphen red so this is developed by Nokia this editor let us go here and this is going to take you to the github page and this is the red robot editor github page I will also provide the links here let me provide all these links to you and here is the GitHub page. So if you go down, you can see Red is modern editor based on Eclipse IDE to provide efficient and comfortable work with robot framework. And here are some very useful links. So you can go to the help uh, section here and you will also find some images that will help you to create your robot project in Eclipse. And you can see this. If you go to the help, this is the help guide. I will also provide this link here. And you can see all these documentation here a user guide here and you can follow this this will be very handy and if you go here download and install link so if you go here you will see we have these options this is what we have to do we should be having Java so Java should be there on your system if you are on um, Mac you can go to terminal and just say java space hyphen version and it should show you your java version or you can also say java c that is for java compiler space hyphen version and it should show you your java version if you are on windows so on windows you can again go to your command line and say java space hyphen version and it will show you a java version and java c space hyphen version and you can see the java compiler version just in case you do not have java you can get java and i will show you how to install java on windows and how to install java on mac os so there are uh, separate videos for this and i will provide the link as well also you can just go to my website and go to online courses on automation step by step dot com and if you go down you will find a section for Java and you will find all the tutorials on Java how to install on Windows or Mac so you can watch it from there and then we should get Eclipse that we have already done and then we have to get red editor for Eclipse that we will see in the next session and then we will start creating our
project and robot framework so we should also get python and robot framework that we have already seen earlier so we should you should be having python and you can just say python space hyphen hyphen version and pip space hyphen hyphen version this we have learned in the earlier video so you should be having this and if i say robot space hyphen hyphen version i also have my robot framework so this is how you can get started with uh, red in eclipse and this is how to install i will cover this in the next video so this is the id for eclipse and we are going to use eclipse with red editor for creating our robot framework test cases i hope this session was very useful for you Thank you for watching.